This is North Dakota Today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to North Dakota Day. I am Phoenix O'Connor. I'm Marlon Mayhew. And I'm Anna Johnson. Happy Monday. Yes, very busy weekend, by the oh, way. Oh, my goodness. How was your Easter? Yes. It was good. Um, my husband's whole family was supposed to come. They couldn't because of the storm. Oh, absolutely. And then my best friend's whole family was supposed to come there, and they couldn't because of the storm. So we just got together. Small group of us. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad everyone stayed safe. I mean, I think that's really important. I mean, I looked outside the window on Sunday and I said, wow, what a great day to stay in and just be home with the family and just play some games and you know, have the Easter egg hunts inside the house. Yeah. Oh, it was such a great time at my church. Mm -hmm. I actually bought some Easter baskets for the children and like a, like a uh, coloring book mm, that awesome. had like the biblical stories in there, Aww. like Noah and things like that. So yeah. it was a great time, a great time spent at the uh, Trinity. And yeah. I've been to your church one time. I know I didn't make it out this time, but I love your church and I love the camaraderie. I think there's just such a powerful spirit. Like everyone seems like really get along with each other and like each other. And that's what I love the best. Yeah, it's a tight knit group of, of uh, individuals at the church. So yeah, it's like family almost. Yeah. Well, I, I am going to make it out again. Most <laughs> All right. So mostly stayed in. You guys stayed in. Well, you went to church. Did yes. you stay yeah. in for Easter? I did. I did. I mean, I looked outside and I was like, not for me. So we do our own little things at home. You know, you can read, you know, whatever religion you are. And you can always do all that stuff from home. But I definitely wanted to stay Did you safe. do the prank? The prank? Oh. The white eggs? Did you put them on the, on the balcony or something? I, I didn't because <laughs> you can't really prank inside the house. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So we should have just sure. went yeah. outside, you know, but... Oh, don't worry, I have some trip tricks up my sleeves. And just so you know, my child is like a prankster. I think this all comes from YouTube. The biggest prank that she ever, that I've ever received was uh, putting toothpaste inside of an Oreo. Ooh. Ooh. And then she likes to like put like, you know, hot sauce on things and you know, so I no, try thank to- you. That's funny. Try to tally it up if I can. What's the craziest prank that's ever been done to you, Anna? I I don't think I've had print. I'm just not a fan of those kinds of surprises. I uh -huh. try to yeah. stay away. I do remember um, when I was in high school <laughs> that I had a group of friends. We had a sleepover. Uh -huh. And maybe they weren't the nicest friends because they were like, I, I thought I overheard one of them be like, when Anna falls asleep, we're going to do like the shaving cream. Oh, and no. oh, so yeah. I didn't. I did not fall asleep. In fact, I waited for them to fall asleep and I did it to them. Oh, so. those are fun. Like antiquing. Have you ever heard of that prank? No. no. Okay. What is so that? Okay. antiquing okay. is when you take flour and the person's oh, sleeping yeah. and you smash it on their face. So they look like a, like an antique. What? <laughs> so do they oh, wake up? Then? They wake up and there's like powder on their face oh, and they look oh like gosh. a, like a, like a powdered donut. It's so funny. Oh, no. So antiquing is a really great prank guys. <laughs> do it cautiously because sometimes it gets in your eye, but it's funny. Oh my it's, gosh. It's I hope hilarious. no kids are watching. Has anyone <laughs> ever done the thing where you get like warm water and you put their, their hand and in the water yeah. and they Not. pee their pants? Yeah. That's, Does that work? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cause the sensation oh in your fingertips really yeah. coincide yeah. and it, it's like it's like you're in the pool and so you're, you just feel the warm water and you just oh my gosh I'm never falling asleep around <laughs> you guys uh -oh. those are the I best not just getting pranked. toddlers and young kiddos they don't even need the warm water they just wet their bed on their own sometimes so <laughs> or have you ever gotten the marker on your face yeah okay yeah, that yes oh. yes yes but oh goodness yeah um but speaking of of, uh, I was going to say Halloween and then Thanksgiving. I'm on a roll today. Yeah. We Monday. love the seasons. Easter. The I love holidays. Yes. I just yeah. can't get them in the right order. Uh, speaking of Easter, so there was a study that was done with adults and candy. Okay. Because I know I have a sweet tooth. You mm. guys have a sweet tooth. Oh, most definitely. Always. Okay. So they did um, kind of a survey just to, to gauge how adults are. And an interesting point about it is that a huge portion of adults picked a candy they liked when they were young and they still like the same candy. Oh, I'm a stickler same. for Kit Kat. I, I'm in the same way. I mean, you like what you like. Plus sometimes like when you have that candy, it brings you back to a positive memory. Yeah, or... it's your childhood. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I agree. Yeah. When I have sugar daddies, I always think of, you know, my grandpa, because he'd always give me like those kind of candies. And now I think they're absolutely horrible for your teeth. And that's probably why I have so many cavities. Is that the caramel? Mm. It's, oh, it's like yeah. the hard caramel they're, candy. Yeah, hard. Oh, yeah. I just never got into those. I love yeah. Rolo, Kit Kat, mm. Snickers, mm. Milky Way. Yes. I never got into Almond Joy, though. Oh, I love oh, Almond I, Joy. I, I love Almond Joy, too. I love coconut. Tell me, tell me what, what, what do you, why do you like Almond Joy I so love much? the coconuts and the nuts. Okay. And the chocolate. Yeah. I have okay. to have chocolate. I, but. I'm a big coconut fan. I have yeah. coconut milk, coconut. 
I'm, I'm a coconut flavor. Yeah. Okay. Coconut well, with some plantains. Have you tried that? <laughs> Tastes good? I... Coconut water with some plantains oh. is delicious. Oh, okay. Sounds like water something you try in Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, coconut water is good. It, 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 I've been told it hydrates you like pretty well. Yes, but you it's just can't have for you. too much of it. Right. Yeah. Oh goodness. Well, this might surprise you. So, 52% um, of adults say they eat more candy as adults mm -hmm. than they do as kids, and I think that kind of goes along with like when you're a kid, you're like, when I'm a grown up, I'm gonna eat cake for breakfast every day. Well, now right. you can. Yeah. For and real. apparently, 52% of adults do. So. Yeah. But then you gotta work crazy. out for those love handles. Okay. Animals. Now yeah. let me ask you this: Do you guys like the full size or the bite size? I well, bite size. Oh, she's like bite size. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go with bite size just because I really try to like portion, and I don't like to try to eat a lot of sugar because I feel like if I eat too much of it at one time, then I just start. I don't know. Sugar really affects me as I've gotten older. Yeah. I, I definitely like the full size Snicker bars, yeah. but around Halloween, I definitely oh. like the little guys. Mm -hmm. the, the kid in me really comes out. Um, I, I used to love Halloween. I love trick or treating, but I've noticed that, you know, I don't know, maybe it's me and just moving different areas, but I haven't seen like a neighborhood that gets fully decked out, and I don't feel like kids really go hard in the paint. And what I mean by that <laughs> is I got, I don't know about you, I had a big uh, pillow size bag, oh, yeah. and I wanted to fill it all the way. That was my goal to fill it all the way up, and I've noticed. And keep in mind, you know, we were in Montana where Halloween's kind of cold, so I get it. Yeah. But they don't, they don't, they just kind of give up like after an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, West I guess Fargo it's... is pretty good though. Yeah, yeah. West Fargo looks mm -hmm. like it's yeah. amazing. I, I'm going to have to see where these neighborhoods are. We have plenty of months to figure this out. Exactly. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. But I definitely want to get you guys up to speed with uh, being a part of North Dakota today. Mm -hmm. Check us out on Facebook. We're always sharing our segments and giving you guys the best of us. So, Absolutely. You know, coming up on today's show, a new production is being put on by Moorhead High School. That and a lot more here on North Dakota Today. But first, your local steals and deals.